Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Right now we're going to jump into yet another example of how you can divide polynomials. And this one's a little bit larger, but you'll see that all we really have to do is repeat the process a few more times. Okay? So when we do this process, it has three steps. We're going to figure out our numbers up top. We're going to multiply those by our 4x plus 2. This will give us some new expressions that we can subtract away so that we have a new expression and we can repeat the process again. Okay, so let's see this all in action. First thing we do is we observe the 4x and the 8x cubed. And we think to ourselves, 4x multiplied by what will give us an 8x cubed? Okay, so the only thing that will do this will be a 2x squared. Okay, let's double check this. 4x times 2x squared, sure enough, 8x cubed. Right, now that you have your new number up top here, we're going to go through and multiply by 4x plus 2. So first take it by the 4x. This will give you an 8x cubed. Then we'll multiply it by the 2, so a positive 4x squared. All right now here's the important part. We want to subtract this entire thing away. And to help myself out, put a pair of parentheses up there and a negative sign. And let's subtract away these terms. So I have 8x cubed minus 8x cubed. So that will give me basically a 0. Minus 32x squared minus 4x squared. So 30, negative 32 minus 4 is a negative 36x squared. All right. So that was the entire process. Let's go ahead and see it again as we do it for this expression. So you'll notice I brought down that negative 30, and we'll do this again. So we think to ourselves, 4x multiplied by what? will give us a negative 36x squared. Well, I know 4 times negative 9 will give me the 36. Okay, so I'll put that there. And x multiplied by x should give me an x squared. So I think 9, negative 9x multiplied by 4x will give me the negative 36x squared. All right. So now that we have this number up top, let's go ahead and multiply through, see what we get. So negative 9x multiplied by 4x, there's that negative 36x squared. Negative 9x multiplied by a positive 2, there's a negative 18x. And of course we want to subtract that away. Alright, here's where our signs get a little bit tricky. So negative 36x squared minus a minus 36x squared. When you subtract a negative number, that's the same as adding. So negative 36x squared plus a 36x squared gives us a 0. Negative 30x minus a minus, so again, that's like plus, 18. All right, so that will give us a negative 12x. All right, things are looking pretty good. Let's bring down this negative 6 here and do this one more time. So 4 multiplied by what is a negative 12? Well, a negative 3 will do it. So negative 3 times 4x, negative 12x, negative 3 times a positive 2 is negative 6. So we're going to subtract that away. So negative 12x minus a minus 12x, 0. And negative 6 minus a minus, that's the same as negative 6 plus 6, so again 0. And this gives us that there is no remainder. So our final answer is just the 2x squared minus 9x minus 3. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.